Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Shaw. Well, good Monday morning. It is 20 minutes before the hour and we're waking up to a mild morning with very good air quality. We have been watching our clouds thicken just a bit as we have gone through the morning and temperatures have overall been quite mild. Uh, Bend Airport's been locked in at 61 degrees. We've had some uh, gusty winds up until just a few minutes ago. Eight mile an hour breeze out of the south. It was a little stronger at Robert Roberts Field and still is at 15 miles an hour and 64 degrees through there. Uh, the challenge that we're facing is the storm that's pushing into the Pacific Northwest. It just won't let us warm up much through the day. Developing system in the desert southwest, uh, the Central Plains and the Rocky Mountains uh, for the time being are in pretty good shape. We've been watching this system grind away just offshore here and it has made for a fairly wet morning in western Washington. Uh, it has also put some fairly heavy rain through the Portland area. Uh, scattered showers uh, in the Willamette Valley and we've had some isolated showers here as well uh, this morning and now as this system pushes its way in from the west we are indeed going to see a, a lot more rain here as you might expect it will be heaviest along the coast and the valley may get some snow at the upper elevations in the Cascades and central Oregon southern portions of our region may see some snow overnight as well we'll see a lot of our temperature that'll be dropping down around freezing. Well, as this thing moves its way through, we're going to see a little shift in its pattern and it's going to start to traffic off to the northeast. Uh, as it does so, the showers that we see here are going to break up a little bit. So expect rain overnight and maybe mixed showers tonight and uh, going into tomorrow morning and then we'll start to get some clearing. The winds aren't too bad right now. They will get pretty gusty out of the south Southwest as this front passes through. So be ready for that as well. Our wind forecast shows uh, some of our sustained winds at as high as 15 to 20 miles per hour through the course of the day. It'll stay a little breezy as we get into tonight. Uh, by tomorrow morning, we'll see this back off just a little bit and uh, then we'll get some clearing later in the day tomorrow. Mid 50s to mid 60s to get the day started. We haven't seen a lot of fluctuation in our our temperatures and we won't see a great deal of warming as we get through the day. Some areas are already seeing something close to their daytime highs for this day ahead. Tonight will be co much colder. We'll see upper 20s to mid 30s for most, a little warmer in a couple of other spots. Expect some of the upper elevations to see a little bit by way of some snow mix in with the rain. This will start to break up later in the day tomorrow. We're going to stay pretty cold going through the middle of the week, uh, warming a little bit as we hit the end of the week, but a bit of a roller coaster here by way of temperature. It does look like we'll have a pretty pleasant weekend to follow.